drips like a liquid, but when I punch it, it acts like a solid. <gasps> Ryan, Oobleck is actually a liquid and a solid at the same time. Whoa. Let me show you guys why. Mommy, welcome to Ryan's world. Did you know that matter is anything with the mass and occupied space? So I'm a matter, you're a matter too. And there are three types of matter. Solid, like this ice, oh, cold, cold, ah. Liquid, like this watercolor. Oh, or gas. Oh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Now the balloon is full of air, which is gas inside, look. But why are there three states of matter? Well, it's because the particles in solid, liquid, and gas are all different. For example, solid, like this ball, has particles that keep its shape in volume. Oh, this is also a solid, right? It keeps its shape in volume. So a solid, keeping same shape and volume. Whoa. I'm okay. Liquids, however, have particles that are free to move around. It keeps the same volume, but different shapes. For example, this liquid here, look what happened. Whoa. See, it keeps the shape of the container but it's the same amount of volume. Now let's put the liquid into a different shape container. This is the shape of a bowl, and now this is the shape of this cylinder. And gas have particles that are so loose, they have no definite shape or volume. So this, I have dry ice, and I'm gonna mix it in with water, and look, it produces carbon dioxide gas. It just goes everywhere, filling up the whole room. Whoa, look at the gas flow. But what happens with things like slime? Is this a solid or is it a liquid? Before we explain what is slime, Let's make our own special kind called oobla. All you need is cornstarch, this food coloring, and water. Pour it inside a bowl. Let's make our watercolor green. Ooh, that's pretty. Get a spoon, agitate it, then pour it into our cornstarch. Mix it up. Now this is really cool, because look, if you pick it up, it looks like a liquid, see? Liquid! But what happens if you tap it like this? Whoa! It was hard, like cement. Try it again, one, two, three. Whoa! But if I do it slowly, it's a liquid, what's going on? So is slime, like ooh black, is this a solid or a liquid? Well, this is a special kind. It's called non-Newtonium liquid. But what is a non-Newtonium liquid? Well, it can behave as a solid when pressure is applied like this, or it could behave like a liquid when pressure is not applied. Pretty cool stuff, huh? I have an idea, why don't we mix it up and add glitter and other things to our old black. Wow! Some pom poms and some glitter. There, let's mix it up. 
Whoa, look how cool this looks. Wow. There it is, your own non-Newtonium liquid. Is it a solid or is it a liquid? Boom! When you're done playing with your Old Black, do not pour it down the sink or else it might clog the sink. You can either pour it in the trash or you can save it in a Ziploc bag so you can play with it for later. So to recap, the three states of matter are solid, which has a definite volume and a definite shape, like this ball is a circle. Hey! Oh, sorry, Gus. Second is a liquid, like this water here. A definite volume, but not a definite shape. And the third type of matter is a gas. The gas in this balloon does not have a definite volume and does not have a definite shape. The gas that was in my mouth now is inside this balloon. Let the gas in the balloon go. Whoa! And now the gas will spread and take the shape of the room. So now that we've learned all about solid, liquid, and gas, how about we take a test? Question number one. How many states of matter are there? Is it A, one state of matter? Or is it B, a million states of matter? Or is it C, three states of matter? That's right, the answer is C. There are three states of matter. Question number two. What are the three states of matter? Is it A, lions, bears, and tigers? Or is it B, Sun, moon, and stars? Or is it C, solid, liquid, and gas? Well, that's right, it is C. The three states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. Question number three. What can a non-Newtonium liquid do? Is it A, it can change color, or is it B? It can change its viscosity if a strong force is applied. Or is it C? It can sing. Did you guys guess the answer? That's right. A non-Newtonium liquid is B. It can change its viscosity if a force is applied. So sometime it could be a liquid, or sometime it could be a solid. So now that we learned so much about solid, liquid, and gas, let's go back and tell Ryan. Let's go. So there it is. That's why Ooblack is a liquid and a solid at the same time. Wow, that's so cool. I didn't know it could be a liquid and a solid. Non-Newtonium. Whoa. Bye. Thank you for watching. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Bye. Whoa.